this section 6.3 is going to look very, very, very close to what we did in section 6.2, talking about parallelograms again. But um, in section 6.2, they actually told you this thing was a parallelogram. All right. So um, let's label it. Let's call it ABCD, just for lack of creativity. All right, we'll just go ABCD. Now, we didn't mention this yesterday, but I think when I first taught this lesson, when I was absent on the video, I think I showed you the little symbol for parallelogram. Do you remember that? Kind of looks like a parallelogram. Not the prettiest looking thing right there, but you get the idea. So I put A, B, C, D. Now, how do we name these things? We know how to name a triangle. We know how to name line segments. We know how to name a lot of different things. But how do we name a parallelogram? Well, you can start with any of the letters. You don't have to start up here. That's right. you got to go around the horn, is like, a, like I used to say. Okay? So if I start at A, I have two different ways I could name it. If I start at A, what would that be? A, yeah, if you want to go this way, if you want to go, what's that, uh, counterclockwise? You go A, D, C, B, or you could name it what if I start at A? A, B, C, D. Everybody with me on that? But do you have to start at A? Of course not. I could start anywhere. I could have started at C if I wanted to. But again, I have two ways to name it if I start at C. What could I name it? C, D, A, B. See how I'm going around the thing? And then, or I could name it what? C, B, A, D. Follow me? All right. So there's actually like eight different ways you can name this thing. Um, a, B, C, D sounds good to me, so I'm just going to name it like that. Which, uh, what could you not name it? If you started at A, you can't go A what? C, right. You can't go A to C. you got to go the ones consecutive, okay, the ones next to that angle. So A, B, C, D or A, D, C, B. Everybody got it? Okay. So I didn't mention that yesterday. I probably should have, but I figured this is a good time as any to talk about that. All right, so um, that's how you would name a parallelogram. Now, yesterday, I might have told you that this was a parallelogram. So if I told you that this thing right here, ABCD, is a parallelogram, well, there's a lot of things that you know about this figure if I told you it was a parallelogram. So let's go through some of the things that we've talked about. This is kind of a little bit review. Okay, we could say, I tell you what, let's start with the definition first. Remember what the definition was for a parallelogram? What did we say? I mentioned it several times. You watched the video, what we did yesterday, or not yesterday, I guess, the day before, and I said this a lot of times. I even mentioned definition. The definition doesn't say that the opposite sides are equal to each other. What does the definition say? That the opposite sides are what? Look at the word, parallelogram. Let's write it down. Right, okay. It's called a parallelogram, right? So what do you think the definition? There's got to be something parallel, right? According to the definition of this word, would you agree with that? Sure, because it's got the word parallel in the word. So by definition, what's true about the opposite sides? They're what? They're parallel to each other. Everybody see that? So the opposite sides are parallel. But that's if this thing is a parallelogram. Would you agree? So watch. If we have parallelogram A, B, C, D, then there's a whole bunch of stuff that's true. I'm not going to write them all out. We'll just talk about it, okay? So if I sat here and told you, or if the book told you, or the worksheet or whatever, if they said this is parallelogram A, B, C, D, that just opens up a lot of things for us. That tells us that a lot of things are true about this. What's the first thing it tells you? It tells you that the opposite sides are parallel. What's another thing it might tell you? If I know this is a parallelogram, then what else is true about the opposite sides? Well, just let's go with the sides again. What else is true about the opposite sides? They're not just parallel, but they're also what? Somebody said it earlier. No, come on. The opposite sides. Sides can't be supplementary. Think of what you're saying. The opposite sides have to be what? Equal to each other, right? Okay. Didn't somebody say that earlier? Yeah. That's what I was trying to point to. Is anybody listening? Anybody here? All right. Listen to what I'm trying to say. I think sometimes I sound like the Charlie Brown teacher to you, don't I? You know what the Charlie Brown teacher is? Wah, 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 right? You hear noise coming out of my mouth, but you're not hearing the words, okay? You're not taking those words and, and trying to figure out what I'm saying. Look at the opposite sides. The opposite sides are parallel, and the opposite sides are also what? Talk to me now. Come on. Equal to each other. That's right. So I could set these two equal, and I could set these two equal. There's a big difference between being parallel and being equal. Do you agree? All right. What else do we know if this thing is a parallelogram? If this is a parallelogram, then a whole bunch of other stuff is true. What else is true about this? Good. Angle A is equal to angle C. You got it. Okay. What else is true? B and D are equal to each other. Exactly right. 
if what? If this thing is a parallelogram, would you agree? Yeah. Um, what else did we talk about? What's kind of missing? Okay, supplementary, good. D and A are supplementary, and D and C are supplementary, very good. All right, what's another thing? we got to add a few things here, don't we? Or add a couple things. So if we add these things, what are those things called? Diagonals. They're diagonals, right. Now, what do we talk about as far as the diagonals are concerned? Uh, yeah, I, get, I, I know what you're saying by that, but let's get a good, precise word. J.D., you said it. They bisect each other. That's a lot easier, isn't it? Okay, so they bisect each other. You should know what that means. Eh, not really. No, it's not that. Um, but watch this. They do bisect each other. And I did this in a different color because this side's not necessarily equal to this side. But they do bisect each other, so they split each other in half, right? This AC splits BD into half. You see it? And then BD also splits AC in half. Right, so they bisect each other. That's what they're doing. And I think that pretty much covers it of all the things that we've learned about a parallelogram. Today, what we're going to do, that was all review. Today, it's almost just like it. It really is. It's really, really close to uh, what we just talked about. But here's the key. Look at this thing right here. It says, if we start off with a parallelogram, then all this stuff is true. Everybody with me on this? So we start off our given, right, the stuff that they told us, the only thing they told us is that this thing was a parallelogram. This time, though, they're not going to tell you this is a parallelogram. And let's use different letters just so we don't use the A, B, C, D again. W, X, Y, and Z. All right? Now, this time, they don't tell you that this is a parallelogram. You don't know. Now, it kind of looks like one, doesn't it? Everybody here? Come on. Okay. So it looks like it's a parallelogram. But we don't know it's a parallelogram yet. But there's, uh, I don't know, about four or five different ways to tell if this thing is a parallelogram or not. All right? It's a very subtle difference between what we talked about yesterday and what we're talking about today. And a lot of you guys are going to look at it and say, well, it's the same exact thing that you did yesterday. Why are you repeating this? There's a slight, slight difference. Remember what I put before? I said, if it's a parallelogram, then dot, dot, dot. This time I'm not going to say if it's a parallelogram because I don't know that it's a parallelogram, right? But I do know it's just a four-sided figure. That's all I know about it. But here's the deal. Watch this. What if, what if I knew that, like, let's say WX was parallel to ZY? And what if I knew that WZ was parallel to XY? Did you see that? So let's say I knew that stuff was true. Now again, I don't know this is a parallelogram right now, do I? I just know that it's a four-sided figure, and right here it says if this stuff is true. So let's mark that, WX and ZY. If this is parallel to this, is that enough to say it's a parallelogram? No, not just the one side. What else do I have to show? That the other two sides, right? Now, this is the if part. So if I know this is true, take a wild guess what might be true then. Then... What do you think might be true about W, X, Y, Z? Not equal. Come on, listen to what I'm saying. W, X, Y, Z. It's one thing. It's one figure. What can I say about that one four-sided figure? It's a parallelogram. That's right. Okay? So, you see what I'm saying? If these two and these two, if the opposite sides, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other, what do you think I can call this whole figure then? I could call it a parallelogram, all right? I could call it W, X, Y, Z. Now, that's a bit different than what we said before. What did we say before? I started off telling you that that thing was a parallelogram. Guys, let's get your uh, eyes open and your heads up, please. Thank you very much. What, what did we talk about the other day on 6-2? We said, if we had a parallelogram, then all that other stuff is true. What did we do now? We said, okay, if all that other stuff is true, then what do we have? A parallelogram. Do you see the difference? The first one said, if we start off with a parallelogram, all this other stuff is true. The opposite sides are parallel, the opposite sides are equal, the opposite angles are equal, blah, blah, blah. Right? Today, we're switching the if and the then. Does anybody remember what that word is when we take the if statement, the then statement, and then we switch the order of them? It's the converse, right? We've talked about that a lot this year. We've done that a ton of times with different theorems. We've taken the if and the then, we switch it around, 
and then we have the converse and that's exactly what this is this is the converse so watch if the opposite sides are parallel then guess what it's a parallelogram what else do you can you say about this if what if the opposite sides were come on talk to me so I know you're alive equal to each other right if the opposite sides are equal to each other then guess what this thing is it's a parallelogram right if that's the only thing I knew in fact, let's do this. Let's take out the parallel stuff because we don't have to know all of that. All we have to know is that the opposite sides are equal to each other. If that's all I knew about this thing right here, if that's the only thing I knew, I could tell you that this was a parallelogram because that's the converse of what we did earlier. Carol, you with me? Come on, snap out of it. Stand up, do jumping jacks or something. Stay awake, okay? I don't care, but I want you to stay awake. So if the opposite sides are equal to each other, then it's a parallelogram. All right, you kind of are getting the hang of this, I think, now, aren't you? What else do you think could be true about this thing to make it a parallelogram? The angles, right. What if I knew that this angle and this angle were equal, and what if I knew that this angle and this angle were equal? What do you think might be true about this four-sided figure? It's got to be a parallelogram. Do you see that? Okay. Now, again, it's slightly different than what we did before. What did we say before? We said, okay, if this thing, if I'm telling you this thing right here is a parallelogram, then you know the opposite angles are going to be equal. What are we saying today? Today we're saying, all right, I don't know what's a parallelogram yet, but I do know that the opposite angles are equal. They told it to me, okay? They told me, like, this was 120 and this is 120. They told me that that was 60 and that was 60. If they tell you that stuff, they didn't say it was a parallelogram, but if they give you this information, Guess what must be true about this thing? It's got to be a parallelogram. Do you, do you see the difference on what we're doing yesterday and what we're doing today? I hope so. It's a slight difference. It's a subtle difference. But it is a little bit different. What else do you think they could tell you about this thing? Um, what about the diagonals? That's right. But remember, we don't know they bisect just yet, do we? Because we don't know the thing's a parallelogram. But what if they told us that this was equal to this and this was equal to this? What if they gave you that information? Then you know that this whole thing is a what? It's a parallelogram. Why? Because if the diagonals bisect each other, then it's a parallelogram. Do you see the difference between what we did yesterday and today? I've said that like 10 times today, haven't I? But I want you to see it. I want you to see the difference of what we're doing. All right? Now, let me show you one more thing that we didn't really talk about yesterday. Oops. Let me, uh, did I do that? Let's see. Oh, let's try it one more time. Come on. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hit that there we go we got it okay that's what I wanted now watch this this is a little bit different so watch carefully what if I told you that this and this were parallel is that enough right there to say it's a parallelogram no, no I would have to know that these two sides are parallel right but let's say I don't know those two sides are parallel but I do know something else what if they told me that these two sides WX and ZY were parallel to each other and at the same time they were also equal to each other that's enough information. Now, that's something we didn't talk about when we did 6-2, but that's kind of new for 6-3. So I don't have to know anything about this side and this side. If I know that one pair of opposite sides are both parallel and equal to each other, okay, then I can say that whole thing is a parallelogram. So what if, the, what if that whole thing is a parallelogram? What do you think now I could say about W and Y? Even though they don't tell me, I could say they're equal because since I know now that it's a parallelogram, I know the opposite angles are equal, right? <coughs> what could I say about W and Z, angle W and angle Z? They're supplementary, so they add up to 180. You follow me? But I have to establish first that it's a parallelogram to begin with. Once I know it's a parallelogram, then all that other stuff that we talked about has got to be true. All right, let's do an example, and then we'll pretty much be finished. So this is kind of like a good little review for us. Um, I'm going to... Do the same one that we did in the other class. I think it's the same one. Yes, it is. Watch this. This angle right here is 56 degrees. This one is 7x degrees. This one down here is 4y plus 4 degrees. But watch the problem. The problem is worded just a little bit different. And you're going to look at it and you're going to say, this is the same exact thing that I did on the other worksheet. 
you know, why would they bother making a whole new lesson on this? But it's there's a subtle difference. On the worksheet before, like on 6.2, they told you that this thing was a parallelogram, right? They said parallelogram, A, B, C, D, or whatever it was, all right? This time they don't tell you it's a parallelogram, but this is what they ask you to do. They tell you to find X and Y so that it makes this into a parallelogram. I want to find out what X should be and what Y should be in order to make that into a parallelogram. So John, talk to me. What do I do? Good. That's right. So watch this. Remember what we said earlier? If the opposite angles were equal to each other, right? If. It's a big if. If they were equal to each other, if these two were equal and if these two are equal, then guess what? I have made this four-sided figure. I've made it into a what? Parallelogram. Or at least I showed that it was a parallelogram. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, if this angle is equal to this angle right here, and if this angle is equal to this angle right here, then guess what the thing must be? It's got to be a parallelogram. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find out what value for x is going to make this equal to this, and what value for y are going to make these two equal to each other. You see it? Again, it's, it's just, just a slight, slight difference of what we uh, did before. So uh, let's do that. Let's do the let's do the x's first. Is that all right? I just like to go x then y. Doesn't make any difference. So what do I do with that seven x and fifty six? Set them equal to each other. The math is very easy. What do we what do we get? X is what? Eight. All right. So that's what x is. Now let's just see if it works. Seven times eight is what? Fifty six. That makes those two equal to each other, doesn't it? All right. But that's not enough. I got to figure out what y is to make those two equal. So we set y is equal to each other. So five y minus twenty six equals 4y plus 4. Subtract 4y from both sides, that gives us y. We can do that in our head, can't we? Add a 26 to both sides, and what do we get? 30. So y is 30. Let's just see if it makes those two angles equal. 5 times 30 is 150. 150 minus 26 is 124. So this angle right here is 124 degrees. Let's see what this angle is. Now, they should be equal, right? if we did it right, but let's just check. Put the 30 in for this. 4 times 30 is 120. What's 120 plus 4? 124. And that's this angle right there. They are equal to each other, right? So as long as y is 30 and x is 8, then the opposite angles are equal. If the opposite angles are equal, guess what we have here? We have a parallelogram. Follow me? Let's just do one more. I lied to you a little bit, didn't I? I said this would be the last one, but I changed my wasn't really a lie. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's say that was 4y minus 9, and this is 2y plus 5. This is just as easy. It might even be easier. I don't know. I don't think it's any more difficult than what we just did. Yeah, so take a look. Now, we don't know it's a parallelogram to begin with, but it says find x and y such, or find x and y so that this thing is a parallelogram. Yeah, exactly. Just solve for x again. Just set the x's equal to each other. Set the y's equal to each other. Okay? I always like, when I solve for x, I always like to put the bigger x on the left-hand side. It doesn't make any difference, but that's how I like to do it. So what do we do here? Subtract a 3x from both sides. What's that going to give us? 2x. And then we add a 2 to both sides. That gives me 6. Divide by 2, and that gives me 3. So x must be equal to 3. Let's check to see if it works. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 is... 13. So that side is 13. Let's see what this is. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 2 is 13. Yep, those two sides are equal, right? Now let's set these equal to each other and see what we get. 4y minus 9 and 2y plus 5. We've been doing this kind of algebra all year long, haven't we? Yep, every single chapter I think we've done this kind of algebra. Subtract 2y from both sides, that gives you a 2y. Add a 9 to both sides, and that gives you what? 14. Divide by 2, and that gives you 7. Let's just double check, make sure it works. 4 times 7 is 28, minus 9 is what? 19? Okay, so that's 19. What's this? 2 times 7 is 14, plus 5 is 19, and there you go. Are the opposite sides equal to each other? Yep. If the opposite sides are equal to each other, guess what we have? We have a what? Parallelogram. Sound like a broken record now, don't I? Because we're saying the same thing over and over again. All right? You need to, um, hopefully you followed along and you saw what's going on here. Make sense? All right.
What do you think of parallelograms? They're pretty easy so far, aren't they? Just know a few things about them, right? Know the opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal, diagonals bisect each other, all right? And then, you know, if you understand that, this is not that big of a deal. The next couple days we're going to be talking about uh, like rectangles and squares and a trapezoid. You ever hear of a trapezoid? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll talk about that stuff in the next uh, few lessons here. So today, Thursday. Um, we won't have a quiz tomorrow, but we'll probably have a quiz very early next week. Maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm not really sure. So um, just be ready for that, please. Uh, probably just on the first two sections, actually. Okay. So probably 6-1 and 6-2. I think. I'll, I'll have to double check, but I think it's like the first two sections. All right, I'm going to give you a worksheet, and then you can uh, finish. You can work on that and have that finished for tomorrow.